Hello everyone. In this video, we're going to cover the category of patterns and algebra. In particular, we're going to be looking at a subcategory called number knowledge. And within that category, we're going to be looking at the specific classification called prime numbers. So to do that, we're going to be reading a very quick description of what these questions typically entail. And prime numbers are basically numbers that only have two factors ever. And it's always going to be itself and the number one. So that's the definition of prime numbers. So for example, that means Every, almost every even number cannot be a prime number because they can be divided by two as well as itself and the number one. But we also have to be quite careful because the only exception to this rule is the number two. It's the only even prime number as it only has itself and one as its factors. Now you can quickly realize that questions regarding prime numbers can be quite arduous, which means it can be quite time consuming and be a lot of effort. So what people have done is they've come up with quick tricks and methods to figure out if a number is actually divisible by another number. And these you're just going to have to remember and memorize at some point, but most of them are fairly straightforward. So for example, if you want to figure out if a number is divisible by three, then the number when you add the letters up is also divisible by three. So for example, um, if I think of a number that's divisible by three, say the number 51, if I didn't know that this number was divisible by three, a quick check I would do is adding the numbers up. So in the number 51, you've got the number five and one. So you add those together to get six. Now, six is such a smaller number that we know from our multiplication tables that six is divisible by three. So since this number is divisible by three, that's an indicator that this number is also divisible by three. The exact same rule applies if you want to figure out a number divisible by 9. You add the numbers up, and if those numbers are divisible by 9, then the original number is also divisible by 9. So you can do these kind of tricks to quickly figure out if a number is going to be a prime number or not. There's another different rule for 5, where if the number ends in a 5 or a 0, it's always going to be a multiple of 5. Now, there's some other special rules for if you want to figure out the multiplicity of factors of 4, 6, 7, etc. But the more common ones are going to be divisible by, by 3, 2, or 5. So keeping these in the back of your mind is going to be quite helpful when you do these questions. Now, for the majority, figuring out whether a number is prime or not means dividing through by a number smaller than itself. This means that our division skills needs to be very polished and spectacular for us to do these questions. Okay, so that's a general overview of what prime number questions can entail. Now, let's take a closer look at this style of question by taking a look at an example. Now, this question says A is a prime number. Now, we're also told that if we add 6, 8, 12, and 14 to the number A, we still get prime numbers. Now, it wants us to then figure out what the value of A is. Okay, so we need to realize that prime numbers mean it's only going to be divisible by itself and 1. So if you add all these numbers to the original prime number, chances are you're not going to get a prime number if you add the wrong one. So we can do this a bit quickly by using another kind of maths trick. So kind of like how we did a trick to figure out if a number is divisible by three, we can do an even simpler one where if we realize an odd number plus an odd number, is always going to give you an even number. You can try this out by doing, for example, three plus five, which are odd numbers, giving you eight, which is an even number, and it's going to be true for whatever number you choose. Then an odd number 
plus an even number is always going to give you an odd number. You can also try this out by doing, for example, 3 plus 2, giving you 5. Finally, the last addition rule would be that an even number plus an even number will always give you an even number. So for example, 2 plus 4 is equal to 6. Okay, so I'm mentioning this because if we take a look at the question we're given, we're told that the additions we do are all even numbers. So that means that the two case scenarios oops, we can consider are these two bottom case scenarios. So uh, we don't know if our original number A is odd or even, but if we add an even number to it, we know that it can't be an even number because an even number is never going to be a prime number unless it is the number two. So from that, we can deduce that this is not the correct scenario, but this one is, which means that A has to be an odd number. So looking at the answer options, we can immediately cross out answer option C because of that reason. So now we're left with the numbers 1, 5, 3, and 7. Another thing that I would consider is the fact that the bigger your numbers get, the less likely it is to be a prime number. It's simply because the bigger, the, the larger your number becomes, the more chances of it being divisible by a number comes out. So for example, between the numbers of 1 to 10, you've got your prime numbers 2, 3, 5, 7, and I guess that's it. And then between bigger numbers, you're going to have way less numbers than that. So I would consider doing these lower numbers first before trialing out the bigger numbers. But let's take a look and see how this works out. I think a table would represent the information quite well. So let's do just that. A, A plus 6, A plus 8, A plus 12, A oops, plus 14 are the numbers we're looking at. And we got the values of 1, 3, 5, and 7 to figure out. Okay, so when a is equal to 1, a plus 6 is equal to 7, a plus 8 is equal to 9, a plus 12 is equal to 13, a plus 14 is equal to 15. Now, is that the correct answer? Well, it is not because the numbers 9 and 15 are divisible that with more than the numbers by itself and 1. So it's not going to be the correct answer. For the number 3, we've got uh, 3 plus 6 is equal to 9, so it looks like we've already got an answer that isn't a prime number. Let's move on to the next one. A plus 6 is equal to 11, A plus 8 is going to equal 13, A plus 12 is going to equal 17, and A plus 14 is equal to 19. So that's actually looking quite good because none of these numbers are divisible by any other numbers other than itself and 1. But just to make sure, let's take a look at the last row, which is when A is equal to 7. So the first row would be equal to 13, a prime number. Then it would be 15, which is not a prime number. So the only row that didn't contain any non-prime numbers would be this row. So the correct answer is going to be option D. Okay, so that is a technique that you can utilize for prime number questions. Hopefully this is of some help to you.